listen to what happened to mm -hmm. us. Do you, are you uh, uh, okay? <laughs> Me and John are in a very serious conversation. We, we were in o over our ham sandwiches. We'd gone down a rabbit hole. It was, and, it was serious. Yeah, yeah. And so over John's right shoulder, uh, I see a blind, I'm already nervous. A, a blind gentleman <laughs> pinned against another man's chair. This is real. Dude. Okay, and I'm trying to listen to John pour his heart out to me. And you know, in those situations, you want to make eye contact. Every time I looked away, it felt like I was telling you I didn't care a little bit. Yep. <laughs> but behind you was a blind man stuck to a chair, and he's he's tapping the man's chair, and he's going, "Are like you in line?" Like it was like a church chair where it had yeah. two like. Uh... And there's a man sitting in it at a table. It's a single table with his uh, his significant other across from him, and the blind man stuck at the behind table him. behind him. Yep. And he's tapping his chair. And he's, a, he's with a woman at the table. Yep, yep. Yeah. Tapping the man's chair. And he's going, are you in line? Well, he asked that question three or four times. Are you in line? Are you in line? Yeah. The man that he's, the man that's sitting in the chair, getting his chair tapped on by the blind, is not responding. He's actually sitting like this. And he's just looking. And I'm not, coming unglued. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, just, just <laughs> tell the man that you're not in line. Yeah, just yeah. Just talk to him. Just say. And yeah. about this time, I've drawn enough attention to it that John turns around. No, John, you go, I got to stop you. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, gotta, I, was, I was like crying. Yeah. I was like, you know, um, you know, my dad didn't come to my softball games. When I, was, I didn't make that. I just made that up. My dad never came to my games when I was in here. Like, hey, John. I, I'm, I want to give you this, but I, w there's a situation. Yeah, and before I could yeah. really finish, I was like, there's a, a blind gentleman who is <laughs> stuck on a chair, and John whips his head around, and John gets up immediately. He does. Yeah, I don't. I don't Because uh, there's no way you believed that this is what was going no, on. No, I get up to solve it. Okay. I go, well, Let's you, ever been, like, you ever been in like a situation where like in public when you're like at, at a bar and you go, I, I have to intervene here? Yeah, yeah, Like absolutely. what? Yeah. You have an example? Um. Yeah, like miscommunications between like the bartender and somebody. Hey, like, he just I gotta go. A... Yeah, yeah. I I see. I need to be like involved. Mm -hmm. Like I was. We were at. Uh, uh, we were at. I was at, at, on my phone the other day, and I was in the Gulch, and there was a guy. You'll laugh at this. There was a guy that had a very loud exhaust on his motorcycle, very loud, and playing music, very loud. And I like, I'm just, I go, hey, <laughs> yeah, I did. I go, hey, no, no, it's too much. Like it's too much. Like a 106 year old man. Yeah. And Lydia was like, hey, d I was on the phone with her and she goes, don't, don't just let him. I go, no, <laughs> dude, there's people here. There's, you can't bring your insecurity or need for attention into me. Yeah. Like I'm, uh, but what do you do? Do you, it, uh, before we get back to the story, do you let stuff go like that? Cause you used to work at a bar and stuff. I mean, uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to size up that guy on the motorcycle before I holler <laughs> yeah. at him. Okay. Like you're pretty brazen to just, just turn around. I go, hey, this guy's no. got hell's angels on his yeah. neck. And you're like, that's it. I mean, that's, I'm, I'm going to look at him. For, I'm, if I think he's like an uncle or a papa and he's got like sandals on, I'm going to step out and go, hey, Bubba, we're going to draw the line. <laughs> but if he's got enough neck tattoos, I'm going to let him listen to the Charlie Daniels band yeah, as loud as he like, wants. I got a like Tevas and hair gel. And he's like, oh, I'm, I can't listen to this. Yeah. You know what? You're yeah. good. I thought uh, you're good. Yeah. On the like, motorcycle yeah, yeah. is a lot different than being inside a vehicle too. Because he's only going to do a quick leg swing and he's next to you now. Yeah, exactly. He just... And I'm I've always hated up? to uh, pick on somebody your own size. Yeah. Never. Look how big I am. You, you size it up I'm first. Going, we're, I want you smaller. Yeah. I just don't like, like we were, I was telling somebody this story. We were down on, on Broadway on the, on the walking bridge. Yeah. yeah. And there was a guy down below there. I was with my two buddies and his kids. And there was a guy down there that was sitting by down by the water and he was naked all the way naked. And we couldn't see, it was kind of a long way away. And we, and the kids, we kind of just went the other way and we kind of just walked and we went on our way. And then the kids, they got in the, uh, they got in the Uber and they all went to the airport. They had to go home. And I go, I'm going to go back down there. What's going on? And I went back down there and the guy, and I, I'm gonna, this is, I don't know if you guys are going to be with, with me or not. I called the cops. You can't do that. I, I have questions. I mean, dude, everybody's not. You're not gonna. You're not gonna go to yourself. Oh, the camera's not on you today. Dude. It was yeah. just on me. Oh yeah, I got one. All right, what? Was he homeless? I. That doesn't matter. I believe so. Okay. But like it's like I, like one time. This is too much information, but 
I lived with a family and there was a domestic issue mm -hmm. between the, the, I was uh, staying at their, I was living with them. I was 25. Like a host, host family type. They having a, let's just say they were having a domestic issue yeah. it, physically. And I go, all right, if I call the cops, uh, it's going to be a whole thing. Like he might lose his job. He was oh, in the, no. yeah, he's going to do that. And, and I go, well, that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. he, you can't do that. Well, no, I mean, can't. dude, well, I always well, do this, just, and then it, no one's ever on my team. Like, no, I, be, I, I no. think in the, in the last minute and a half, you yelled at a guy to turn down his music, and you called the cop on a naked person. No. All right, well, so you would just let the naked guy go? I would, I would, would. unless he was, like, sprinting through a crowded group of people, like a crowd, or, like, being... Uh, like being dis a disturbance. Uh, yeah, being obscene. But if it, I, I would get arrested if it was me. Yeah. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the story of like the old lady that said that the guy next door walked around his house naked all the time. And when she called the cops, they came over and they said, we can't even see your neighbor. And yeah. she said, well, you got to stand on this stool and get on the <laughs> counter and then you can see the neighbor perfectly fine. You know, it's like sometimes you got to mind your own You're business. That's so, what I was doing. I mean, you got to mind your business a little I bit. I did go back. Yeah, you do. now going oh, yeah, no, back shoot. is wild. Now, if he's no, chasing right. you and he's <laughs> naked, I think it's time to figure this out. But I just don't, like, I just, that's. You did go back. Yeah, going back is why. <laughs> you know, everybody's like getting in the car and you're like, you know what? G give me just a second. Uh, I'm going to see the naked. <laughs> I'm going to save the rest of Nashville. And, and All right, so you said, all right, so I, but I go, he's down there and you're like, because you said, is he. Homeless? Is yeah. he? Is there some kind of mental? Like, is he bathing in the river? Like, is this the only shower he no, really he was, gets? He was like sunbathing. Okay. Which is like that's a no-no. You can't do that. Yeah. No matter, and but you would have just said that's weird. But I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. And I go. Yeah. I'm gonna call. My <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Am I turning it into this guy? Am I that guy? It's kind of Karen. Man. Shoot, dude. It is. A, no, it I is, just said. What this? Is, I little. love. Well, I just justified it by I love the city and I love people coming to experience the city and how amazing it is. And that, if you, you, a lot of people, I go, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. That's against. If I did that, I would be arrested. Yeah, I mean, you have expectations for your city. I mean, you obviously I'd be care proud, about it. very yeah, proud. Yeah. Of it. yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that's the. Well, this is who I am. So mm -hmm. we've established that this is who you are. Yeah. So the the blind guy is trying to find out. Is he goes? Do, are you in line? Repeated it. Are you in mm -hmm, line? Mm -hmm. And the other guy not listening. Not a he's word. Kind of like, he's not saying a word. To not the guy. a word. Yes. And you go, hey. And I immediately go, I'm not going to watch this. Mm -hmm. And so then what happened? We both get up and yep. we walk over there. And I'm kind of keeping my distance because I'm pretty frustrated with this guy. Like you I, were, like you were. One I, of, he like, bothered me a lot. I thought yep, he was yep, yep. just. Uh, to me, he's openly ignoring a blind man who is asking him a very simple question. Yes. And it was making my my blood boil. Yeah. So I stood back. Once once John got up, I got up too. You yeah, know, yeah, I yeah. mean, if somebody's gonna go be a hero, you're gonna yeah. have to go. I'm not gonna sit there in the table. So we walk over there, and John's <laughs> helping this guy. He's like kind of t turning him and yeah. talking to him yeah, and trying yeah. to. And so I walk over and I kind of take him from John, and yeah. I see John trying to communicate with the guy at the table. And what yeah. did you find out? Well, then so I I went back to Derek and I go, dude, the guy doesn't speak English. The guy who wasn't answering him. Yes. Exactly. Can you dude. believe the perfect storm? A blind man ran into a man that couldn't speak English, and they just were just. And we saw it. I, I, I mean, they couldn't get around each other. No, it was it, 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 like it was like when I took that driverless car, and then there was like a cop, like a directing traffic. The co the car goes like it yeah. just it. They were gridlocked. Yeah, and, they and the blind man was becoming. I mean, if we're being honest, he was becoming frustrated. Are you in line? I mean, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. smoking this guy's. And you got to think, now we haven't given this perspective yet, John. What about the guy that doesn't speak English? He he's, just came to Chattanooga to visit some relatives. He thinks yeah. that he's being like mugged. This he, is his first time. He's like, there's a man behind me with a backpack and a seven foot pole. And I don't feel safe in Tennessee anymore. That's a good point. I mean, we haven't, he, he was terrified. He did look scared. Concerned. And I, and I was, I saw it for two seconds and I go, what? And I was mad at the guy too. Yeah. But then you go, okay. Now, I, now it's like it, it's like, would that be universal? Because he, I guess he never saw the guy. Because I think was he wearing glasses? Well, who are we talking about not seeing who? Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying. Don't, don't laugh at that. That's confusing at that in this joke. situation. Yeah, yeah. He, the 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 guy that didn't speak English. Because if he would have seen, they go. I think that's universal. The stick is universal. John, if he didn't feel him smacking his chair. 
I mean, yeah, click, yeah, click. Yeah. That's what we we talked about. This yeah. we were frustrated. He didn't turn around. I've thought, I've left. He I've lost he, sleep over this. He didn't turn yeah. around and put eyes on the situation. Yeah, he just stared at his 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 wife. I'm assuming. Yeah, and yep. just let this guy smoke his chair just, four or five. Good question. That's what Alex is like. If you let's say you. I'm the kind of guy again. Dang it! I feel like I'm not the good guy. Here. <laughs> I did help. I but you I did. but like I'm I like if we go to like a restaurant where like we all order drinks, I'm gonna give it. If it if the drink, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Go, what do you have? Jack and Coke. I'm going to the bar, and I'll get them and bring it back. And y'all, I just I just take it into my own hands very quickly. I've watched you do it. You're really good at it. Very quickly, like very I go, proactive. I'm in charge. Not mm -hmm. I'm in charge, but like I'm gonna. I'll take charge. Yeah. So how long? I, but I got buddies that like we talk. Like no matter what they bring to the what what order, if it's wrong, if it's I got a side of fries, they just go. I'll 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 take it. Yeah. And they cut in line at the at the uh, merge. They merge very first. They mm -hmm. just don't want to. They don't want to rock the boat any anything you were about to ask the real question though which is isn't are you in line universal are you in line are you in line i go i walk in i go are you in line yeah yeah are you in line he what he he's talking about what, so he should have turned around is what that, i'm saying my, my, he didn't speak english he, he, but yeah, i but, it doesn't but have anything while you're standing in line is pretty yeah, you know what yeah, i mean that's everybody if i go to argentina <laughs> and you smack my chair enough i'm gonna turn around <laughs> look at who's smacking my chair and I don't even know a word you're saying, but could you tell me why you're smacking my? Or, <laughs> we just, we've lost all our Argentina. And fans. how many neck tats do you have yeah. before I? Yeah, because right I'm not going. You know. But the, but the, what what I think I was frustrated with, like I understand they didn't speak English, but to just like, just clam up. Just I don't want, I don't want any part of this. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on right here. Right here. I'm just gonna like a sh turtle. Just yeah. That's your plan. I mean, it was just as I, I, I mean, that's not the way to handle that. I uh, listen. I'm not like the most, like the most relationally like equipped guy, but like as a woman, don't you want to be with a guy that's like, I got it. Yeah. I think. Do you? I mean, I, you want to be with somebody that yes. turns around or like, Hey, go handle that. So the guy we got up, solved it. And the, and then the guy was he he come he came over towards our table mm -hmm. and he was like he started talking to us and he got it kind of lost again around yeah. around our around our table he got lo and he was kind of going towards the wall mm -hmm. this is the blind guy yeah okay and he was going what was he saying like did, just asking questions what'd you get for what'd you eat for lunch today how yeah, how like, were, you know he goes Earl was Earl here yeah you? was Earl here and I told him I had a I befriended a guy. In uh, college, he, he was blind and he was in one of my classrooms. And sometimes when he would get a little lost, he would start talking. And he want they want you to talk back just to get just some. So we can get so we can get some bounce back. Yeah. And it, and it may and it's to them maybe it's a little awkward. So they're just trying to keep conversation. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, then he, he ended well, up. We had, it we had out. also gathered that by what he was saying that he is, is comes is a in regular. There. Yeah. Or he knows. He goes. Did you talk to? He knows somebody the, in there. The pork and cheese, or whatever. Some the name of the. Yeah, I said I got the ooey the gooey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were. I was like, okay. He, so he's he is now, he is now, the situation has been dissolved. Yeah, that's right. That guy, the guy from whatever country. I wish we knew his country so we could make jokes about him. But we, yeah, uh, I said Argentina, but I thought that was pretty. Argentina, that's a great country. Dude, Argentina. Yeah, they, they have got, uh, foam remote. parties and yeah. avocados. I think then. What happened next? Remind me. The white woman. Oh yeah, she came over. Of yes, of course she and, did. Yes, yeah, well, she did. okay. Of course she did. So, but this is oh, we've had this conversation literally every week. Is like I'm gonna go this far. Mm -hmm. Someone else is gonna go this far. Someone else is gonna go this far with the vaccine or with any possibility. Like I'm here. I'm only going to here. Everybody's like I'll go to here. Mm -hmm. And it, like so, we were like that was enough for me. Yeah, I had I was. Some people wouldn't call the cops on the naked guy. Can that be the title of this podcast? Yeah. No? yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> Some people would, I go, mm -mm, I'm calling the cops. Yeah. But then I had, I, but I'm not going to stand around and I, the cop, the thing I got, the text I got from 911 is like, you need to stay at the scene and wait. And I was like, well, I'm not doing that. They text you back? Yeah. 911 did. So you called them and then they returned it. With I was them. like, you up? No, they, I don't know. They have my phone information from my cell phone cool. or from my, I don't know. They track you somehow. Yeah. We're all against the government tracking us, but it was an emergency. We're like, why don't you come get us? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. All right, so then I, I, to me, I was like, we're, we've done enough here. Mm -hmm. And then she came over 
and was like, can I, and like took him by the arm. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I spent enough time around like uncomfortable. I was like, no, he's fine. Yeah. Now you're uncomfortable. Exactly. She was uncomfortable and wanted to be like the hero. And I thought I had gone, but that way, I thought that was too far. That, that was disrespectful to him. Yeah. But what about with the music? Was it, do you think that that was a nuisance to everybody or were you uncomfortable? <sighs> You know what? I don't like these kind of questions because then I have to I have to say that I might not have been correct. Yeah. No, I mean I think I go, you're hey. Right. I think you're right. No. Yeah. And he was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but I guess no one else said, hey, no. Did other people applaud you? Nobody probably no. here. Anybody no. give you like a nice man, thanks for doing that. I'm trying for to yourself. think if that's if that has happened before when I stand up and be like, enough. And everybody goes, thank you. Like if the guy's cutting in line, it goes, mm, no, everybody else wanted to, but they didn't have. That's what I think in every situation that is like everybody else wants to say something. I'm going to do it. Right? Mm -hmm. But it's probably not true. Yeah, you're yeah, you're right. It's because in, the, well, the, I thought the white. Well, all right. So when I when I was in rehab, uh, people would come in like new people would come in all the time and people would uh, you sit in a circle. Right. There's 13, 14 people. This is going to blow your mind. And um Sometimes people would have a breakthrough like emotionally and they start crying. They start bawling, crying, mm -hmm. bawling. And and if you've been around those situations long enough, that is very you love that for that person. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a it's a very healthy emotion to experience. And it could be happiness, sadness, pain, joy, anything. But the tears are their emotion, you're feeling those things for the first time is amazing. Yes. And every time, it's usually someone new will get up, get the Kleenex, cause he, you know, and he bring it over to him. And they crush that person every time. And the, the rule in rehab, you never bring the Kleenex over to someone, why? I mean, I would say to assume that they need it. Because you are uncomfortable. Oh, gotcha. With them crying. Wow. Yeah. And I go, and that's what I feel like that white woman was doing. Now, the situation was fine. And to someone experience that level of emotion and the cleanse of a of a feeling the pain of a I agree. maybe a childhood event that they do you need to let them do that because bringing them that is going to distract them and pull them out of that yeah moment. and it's going to be like i it go hey button this up right what you're doing is very therapeutic but i am a, i am sitting across the room i am uncomfortable by you doing this and so that's like it's called like caretaking when they don't need to they don't that's that was for the person that brought it so she was, but I guess we had information that she didn't. Yeah, because we, we were like, he's he's looking at her, but we knew he was comfortable there. We knew he was a regular, mm -hmm. and he was kind of being jokey, not jokey, but very he was light, jovial. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, everybody's good here. We can go about eating, and he can kind of. I'm guessing if you're blind, that's just part of the deal. Kind it of is. figure in your way, and you're running into a wall. It's not uncomfortable for him. Yes. For her it was i agree and she literally grabbed him by the hand like an infant and walked him yeah i think out but he didn't even want to go out yeah he, he didn't seem like he was in a rush to get out of there but she walked him all the way to the door yeah which is i mean and then she probably went over there and didn't even see what we had done and was like those two guys are just gonna let him just yeah get... and i i'm the bad guy and i was like i've solved this whole thing yeah and that's what i wanted the whole time just to be the hero i mean yeah sure it was a little weird but on the net net on the, on the, it, it, it was a positive, it was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive.